Hi, I want to show you how to create a composite score. This is always an important thing to do when you're presenting data because we may have a lot of different scores and columns and metrics and sometimes it's better to simplify all that into a single score. So I am using a marketing data set uh, and I'm going to walk you through this code and we are going to create a composite score and then just very easily visualize that in a pie chart. So what we want to do is simplify all these metrics into a single score. So here are a list of accounts and we have leads, uh, converted, sales amount, visit, uh, clicks and impressions. And we brought that in using pandas and we just read the data in and this is the top five rows. It's not a very big data set. So all these numbers are on different scales. This is in the hundreds. This is in the thousands and hundreds. And we even have um, things in single values here. So what we want to do is scale all this data using standard scalar. And what standard scalar does is it puts everything on a standard uh, distribution from negative one to one. So we're going to use sklearn to bring that in. So sklearn preprocess, and we're going to bring in both standard scalar and min max scalar because our composite score, we also want to scale so we can turn that into a letter grade. These are our numerical columns and I still have this string column. So what I want to do is select the numerical column so I create a list of different data types here floats and integers and I'm using the DF select data types and I'm saying select anything that is uh, in this data type list which is all numerics what that will do is give me all the numerical columns because I can't scale a string so I can only scale the numerical columns I isolate those numerical columns in a variable using DF select data types and then I just want the name of those columns so after I call that I just use the columns operator and I can just get these column names now I also want to make a copy of my data set so I can add the score back to the original data set for analysis so I just used DF copy and save that as DF2. I select those numerical names and then I scale by using fit and transform to scale those numerical columns. And what that's going to give me if we look at the head of the data is that negative one to one scale for all our numerical columns. And then we still have our account uh, name here. Then all we do is create a composite score by summing across the columns. So we are taking all these values and summing them up. You, so we just use DF sum and then we use the axis as one, which is a column to sum all the way over. Check the head and now we have this new composite score. However, this is not very useful because we can see it's all the way from negative six to two. So we need to scale this so we have something that we can read. And min max scalar goes from zero to one. So I am going to scale by using the max scale, which I saved in the variable here when I instantiated the scalars here and then I am going to fit and transform that and what we end up with is a 0 to 1 scale and we can see 1 is always going to be the highest now that I have that I can use pandas q cut which allows me to cut the data into categories using bins. So I want an A, B, C score, so I want three bins. So I'm going to create a new column called letter score 
use the pandas cut function, push in my composite tape composite column, specify that I want three bins, and then give it the labels. So it's going to go from lowest to highest. So I want C to be the lowest, the middle to be B, and then A. Then I'm going to check my data by just calling the whole data set DF2. And now we can see we have on that DF2 data frame, we have all our scaled numerical columns, the composite score, and then the column, which is the letter score to go with it. And we can see A is the highest, and then the lower ones are going to be C. I want to add this column back to the original data frame. So I just use that using bracket notation. And now in the original data frame, we can look at things in more of an analysis way. So we have our letter score there. It's still a bit hard to see because we only see numbers. So I want to sort this so I can see it in order. So I'm going to bring in that composite column here so I can sort by it onto this original data frame. So I just add that to the original data frame by creating a new column and pulling in the DF2 composite. Then I'm going to sort the whole data frame by that composite column and then do it in a descending fashion. So now we can see the A's at the top, the B's in the middle, and the C's at the bottom. So now we can really evaluate how this score works. So we can we know that it's a collection of these columns and we can see that 810 leads has an A, but right under that, only 80 leads also gives us an A. Now, if we were scoring everything on the leads without a composite, this would be the lowest. But because we're looking at all these metrics, this is still scored very high. So the next step that could be taking is to weight these different features and then create a composite score. And then all I did was create a very quick pie chart to show you the distribution of those scores. I hope that is very helpful. This is just a quick and easy tutorial on how to create composite scores. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do share the video or give me a like if it was useful. Thank you.